absolutely stunning so butterfly world i'm quite excited about this one um just because i think it's going to be really pretty um and experiment should be pretty experiment should be pretty and fun why shouldn't everything just be pretty and fun so what have we got in the box So we have what looks like a big net um, order form. Open. Um, so I have to go and order the butterflies on the internet um, and then they will arrive shortly. So I will do that today. Cup of butterflies. Good, cover butterflies, I will order that. Then we have a little pipette. I like little pipettes. A little bit clip on butterflies. Um unzip. Unzip this. Oh! <laughs> Didn't expect it to do that. And then little N little net thingy bobby for the butterflies so that is where they will um live i think i might hang that up there i think they'll look quite nice up top of my desk um i will see where it says that the butterflies should be living when they arrive and uh, while we're waiting the book here has gone into my jar of experiments they have arrived my tiny baby caterpillars and they are moving so all I need to do now is leave them in this handy pot they come in until they um, make chrysalises caterpillars arrive they have now been in uh, chrysalises chrysalis chrysalises um anyway they've been in their little shells for about a week now and i'm about to transfer them into their butterfly habitat so here they are they are really wibbly they are really wobbly i'm quite nervous about um doing this um if we look around the side here there is this this caterpillar here which didn't make it up to the top there are only other four caterpillars hanging from the top so 
I'm not sure whether that one's dead or whether he's just um, made a chrysalis down the bottom. So I don't really know what to do with that one. Um, I might pop the, the tub in the bottom and see what happens. Um, now what I need to do is to take the lid off and remove the paper that the chrysalises are stuck to. Um, attach them to the inside of the butterfly habitats. Um, it says with a, the safety pin, but I can't find any safety pins. So I found an old earring that I'm not using anymore. Um, and I'll attach them with that. I'm quite nervous about this because they are quite, um, they, they're wibbling quite a lot. Um, but here goes. Oh, it's quite hard to get off. Poor caterpillars. Oh, nearly. There we go. Okay, I've got it. Oh dear. But you can see them oh, really happily. Oh god. One of them's literally going crazy. This does not look good. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, that caterpillar does not look happy in there, so I'm just gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. Oh dear. Okay, so we can see, I think this one's maybe coming out, that there are lots of strands of threads. Oh god, they're all going crazy. I'm just going to try and move as much of this strandy stuff as I can to try and help them not have entangled wings when they come out. They are not happy that I'm doing this at all. I really apologise, little caterpillars. Okay, while this poor little guy is going absolutely mental over here, I just want to take this opportunity to have a really, really good look at the structure of these chrysalises because they are absolutely beautiful. I should go around and have a look at this side. So you can see the spikes there, that's reminiscent of the caterpillar. If we just go around here and have a little look at the underside, you can see some absolutely beautiful colours coming through here. This experiment has been a really lovely one. Okay, so this is probably one of the most um, cat-handed attempts ever. The paper that I was trying to get off and um, to bring you in here, you can see it's actually all dissolved. Um, so I've attached the, the, the lid with a hair grip. Um, and we can see this caterpillar in here is going absolutely crazy. So I think this one might emerge today. So if we look in the bottom of the cup here, you can see all the caterpillar poo, and you can see these tiny little black furry bits. That's the um, exoskeleton of the caterpillar, which it sheds at various stages, um, so that it can have more room to grow. This is what I woke up to this morning. Look who has decided to wake up from that cocoon. So it is about um, maybe 10 days since the caterpillars made their chrysalides, I now know is a plural term, and they have turned into butterflies. There are only four in here. Um, one of them went a day early, so I let him go at the weekend. And you can see one has um, curved wings. That's because that butterfly um, formed its chrysalids in the pots where the caterpillars um, were. Um, so it's come out a bit wonky, but it can still fly absolutely fine. These are absolutely stunning butterflies. Okay, so you can see this one down here. 
This is the one that's got slightly deformed wings, but I think you can still get around absolutely fine. So these are now being released into the garden. This has been an absolutely fantastic uh, experiment to run and I'm quite sad it's over but I will admit I think I like the caterpillars better than I like the butterflies because they were just you know, really really interesting to watch. Um, the butterflies they are beautiful but you know are really delicate and it does feel quite mean keeping them in here so they hatched um, this morning um, and now I'm releasing them. Um, they are absolutely stunning to look at. The intricate patterning going on here is amazing. Um, it's really interesting to watch how they feed, um, watch how they develop. But I think the caterpillars were my favourite part because they were just really cool with all the wiggling around that was going on. Um, so I'm going to try and get as many as I can out to show you them in detail. Let me just look from the front here. Um, see if we can't get hold of them to open up their wings so we can see what they look like. Oh, there we go. We're off, we're off. Oh, we're gone. Absolutely stunning. You can see some truly amazing detail on this. Look from the front. The patterning on the underside of this is spectacular. Um, I've tried to get quite a few photos of the patterning on the inside but are rather reluctant to open their wings. They're rather camera shy butterflies here. This guy is not in a hurry to go anywhere. So happy endings all round. We are on a plant here. Um, hopefully he'll, she'll learn how to um, stretch those butterfly wings, fly off and um, do butterfly things.